each other and living with pride, trying to make a stand. In the mother of California with its mountains tall and grand. Seven brothers, bold and strong, living in the promised land. Working hard every day in the blazing sun on the open land. Dreaming visions at night of the life they plan. Seven brothers, bold and strong, living in the promised land. Good food. Hey. Could you sing that song you did last night with Crane? Yeah. When the vet say he called. Uh, as soon as he finished the autopsy. I hope it isn't contagious. There's no sense worrying about it. There's work to do on one of the windbreaks. You coming? coming? Uh-huh. Don't tell me you've gone off my cooking already. I'm not hungry. First time I ever heard you say that. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? I'm fine. Quit fussing over me like I'm a little kid. Excuse me. How's it doing, Doc? Right now, he's sleeping. What do you think's wrong with him, Walt? From the symptoms he's showing, the dizziness, the nausea, the severe stomach cramps, I'd say he's been poisoned. One of our calves was found dead this morning, and according to the vet, she died from ingesting parathion. And Guthrie was swimming in the stream where we found her. Oh, it could be polluted water. Well, how do you suppose parathion could have gotten to the stream? That, I'm afraid, I couldn't answer. Will Guthrie be all right? I've given him some atropine. It should destroy the poison still in his system. When that passes, he'll be out of danger. Just be thankful he didn't swallow any more of that water. Hey, Adam. Yeah, Joe. Just three more weeks on our fishing trip. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Listen, Hannah wants to know when you're coming back up for dinner. Sometimes you'll have me. I haven't had a good meal since the last time. Sheriff man? Oh, yeah. He just got back from another hard morning on the re-election trail. You boys have every right to feel put out. But believe me, I'm not about to let any of my people go around drinking contaminated water. I'll find out how it happened. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. I was hoping you'd say that, Buck. You sure I can't take a ride out and visit Guthrie? Maybe I could cheer him up. Well, the doc says he needs his rest. 
careful. You let me know when I can. I always liked Guthrie. I like all you McFadden boys. I'm sweet on that wife of yours, too. Mm. Well, now, in a fatherly way, of course. <laughs> <laughs> there must be five McFadden boats by now. They're all yours, Buck. That's what I'd like to hear. <laughs> Looks like I got this election sewed up. <laughs> <laughs> You heard us. We're good. Bam. We're tight. Looking for a grittier sound. Why don't you boys come back in a couple of years, okay? Mister, we can't wait that long. Look, we got a grittier sound. I... You heard what the man said. I'm talking to the guy that owns a bar, buddy. We got a grittier sound, okay? We got a song that's real gritty. You're gonna love it. I said, pack your equipment and blow. Hey, pal, who rattled your chain? Come on, let's get out. your question. What's going on here? Hey, Adam, get a load of this. I want to talk to you. Something you don't like. Yeah, illegal dumping. Try that for a starter. Oh, check this out. All over the place. What's that? A spill? It was to seep down into the stream. I guarantee there won't be any more spill. Now, let's get back to work. Now, your work is finished, mister. Everything we're doing is legal. Absolutely legal. It has been for the last six months. You guys got a problem or something? You're going to dump it! has a county permit to dump pesticides in the old Dixon mine. That's right. That permit came from the county commission. Well, then why didn't you say something about it before? I said I'd look into anything illegal. They have a permit. I suggest you get them to stop it. You go to that commission and tell them how that stream got polluted. <laughs> now, listen, boys. <laughs> I mean, I have enough to do just enforcing the law. That's not my job. Just what is your job, Buck? Appearing before that commission on behalf of the chemical company? We just came from San Andreas, and nobody would admit it right out. But it's pretty clear who told them it'd be a good deal. And it is a good deal. We needed new sources of revenue. That old mine's been sitting there useless for years. And Wentworth Pesticides is paying out hard cash and storage fees. It doesn't bother you that Guthrie could have been killed. That was bad. That was real bad. But it was only one accident. Now, we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen again. The only way to do that is to stop the dumping. Why don't you care, Buck? Boys. I don't like your tone of voice. All right. Now, nothing's going to be settled like this. Adam, Brian, you best go on home now. Come on, I'll walk you to the door. I don't think this is over, Buck. Because it isn't. Adam. 
I'm sorry this had to happen. Did you know about that license, Charlie? I'd have tried to get him to fight it. Look, Adam, don't misjudge him. He's been a good sheriff for a lot of years. Well, if dumping chemicals is so good for the community, why keep it a secret? Hell, if Guthrie hadn't gotten sick, we still wouldn't know about it. Yeah, and he didn't even let you in on it, Charlie. Well, I, I don't understand that myself. Look, Charlie, he's lied to us all. Now, there's something going on here that we don't know about. I want to know what it is. jelly sandwich with pickles, mustard, ketchup, and a big bowl of beans. I don't blame you, but I think to be on the safe side, you ought to stick with the tea and the toast. Hi, honey. feel that somebody ought to run against Buck. Yeah. That's a good idea. You got anybody in mind? Yeah, we got a pretty good idea. You know, I bet you Jake Thompson would do it. No, no, I don't think he'd ever give up his business. No, we, we were thinking that this sheriff should have some rather specific attributes. He should be 27 years old. Married. Have six brothers who could help get him elected. Does that sound kind of familiar? Bingo. I'm going to bed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Adam, you're going to have to cheer us out. Adam, you're going to have to cheer us out. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. My first responsibility is to this ranch and the family. Oh, oh come on. Oh, you know what would happen around here if I wasn't here? Huh? Tell me. Chores wouldn't get done, homework wouldn't get turned on. Oh, you're getting all kinds of up now. What makes ourselves. you think I'm even qualified? Because you're tough, fair, and honest. What other qualifications do you need? Yeah, and besides, you can't let Buck just skate in an office without a fight, and you know it. Adam, you've got a chance to stop him here. You've got to run. <laughs> Candidate for sheriff. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Sure could use your help, Charlie. I had might like to offer it, but you know how it is. I mean, Buck's the man who gave me this job. I owe him my support. Yeah, I understand that. 